hey guys welcome back to the channel and i got a nice treat for you guys um as this is the season finale of sisters season two the veil ellis and crystal aka zach and fatima went live and did a kind of like a fun recap of the finale episode so i wanted to share this with you i hope you enjoy this video if you're new here like comment and subscribe and it's a long one so enjoy to the right people is this reciprocated is this appreciated or am i being taken for granted you know um so i i do feel like women are just naturally loyal to a fault because we will put up with stuff let's let's just yeah. talk about it we will. We will put up with a lot, way more than men will. You know. Yeah. Um. That's you know social conditioning, the patriarchy mm -hmm. we talk about all the time. Yes. It's almost, it's it's extremely unfair, but it seems like women are taught to seek validation through marriage. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you're not married or with someone by a certain age, mm -hmm. the right type of woman. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, it seems like so many more women are willing to put up with bullshit because they just like they I want to be claimed by somebody. Oh my goodness! And I went through a phase like that in my life. I went yeah. through a phase um, where I was willing to put up with something just so that I could have that that mm -hmm. marriage, that relationship, that validation. And then I was like, I woke up one day and I was like, No, like, yeah, why? And now, as I get older, I get the question, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. I got this. Because mm -hmm. I'm not in a relationship. You look like you should be. On paper, you should be. So why I are you not? You know? So then you got to deal with, what, you crazy? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. <laughs> you got to deal with all that stuff. And um, and a lot of times, women just don't want to deal with it. You know? So we, we, we end up settling because of well, what society has made us deem this is the way you should go. But, but it's, it's funny that like women, if we really look at the way the world is now, women don't have to put up with that. Back in the day, no. men dominated the entire workforce and women, the only way they got out of their parents' home was to marry someone. That mm -hmm. seemed like it made sense back then. You know what I'm saying? Because if you didn't get married, you were stuck living at your parents' house. Yeah, exactly. Now you got women making more money than men. So they like, I don't need to Talk be married. I can get life on my own. And I think, there you go. Put your, <laughs> hand, put your hand up. You know what I'm saying? Both put hands up. <laughs> you, um, I think <laughs> this is a harsh reality that a lot of men don't want to deal with because yeah. now I'm putting up with bullshit because she going to leave. <laughs> she out. She, oh, listen, because she doesn't I, have to. There's nothing holding her to this. She's strong. Where are my strong, independent women? <laughs> uh, this is. Uh, now, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad we're talking about this too because there is a power in women having that type of independence, right? Mm -hmm. Because yeah. I think about I think about my wife. Uh, what up, Kay? Kay? She was in here. Hey, I seen Kay. Shout out to Kay. Makes her own money. Yeah. And she could oh. leave if she wanted to. Mm -hmm. You know. So it makes me feel even that much better when she chooses to be here the same way I choose to be here. Yes. Go somewhere. Yes. Man. There's no obligation. What are you doing? So my other son came in here. Yes. What's up? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Yes. So for all y'all who don't know, I got three boys: Cairo, Kaz, and Jackson is upstairs. But um, they the ones who made the popcorn for movie night and mess the place Everywhere. up <laughs> when you have kids this is what happens when you have kids but um not it feels good it feels sorry i, I kind of got sidetracked because see i thought he's about to land on me no but it feels good in this day and age to have a, a woman mm -hmm. who's like your partner who get yes. money yes my girl to here just said it partnership not a dictatorship exactly like it's it's dope like it feels it feels good you know what i'm saying yeah i think that zach and fatima can be that like we can see that on television you know if they end up staying together mm -hmm. you get a chance to see a young woman who's going to get her law degree she helps zach get his own money so he got that first 25k let's see what he does with that money if he yeah. gets money now you got two individuals who can build something together you know what mm -hmm. i'm saying yeah that's real and we need to see that we don't know what's gonna happen with zach and Tim, but there'll be something really dope if we can continue that 
No, I do. I do. I do think it'd be dope. And somebody asked me a question about um, they asked about Danny and Preston's relationship. Mm. And they was like, you know, they want to get our thoughts on Danny and Preston's relationship. They love Danny and Preston. Let me tell y'all something right now. My mom and dad, their favorite character on the show is Danny. Mm-hmm. Other, you would think that their daughter would be there, <laughs> but no, it's Danny. Danny, like literally, I went to we were um, shooting season three, and they were they called me on Facetime during lunch, mm-hmm. and I took them to see um, see her just on Facetime. They're like, oh, oh, that's a that, that, that's a Danny, Danny. I was <laughs> like, but Danny, they love her and Preston. Yeah, they love them. I love them together too. I love that dynamic. What do you think it is about their relationship that they they can't seem to get right? Like, I think it's the um, the the culture and the the race barrier. Like, you know, two different cultures ra- raising two different. Excuse me. One second. Hey, hey, you see me on live doing work, right? Go upstairs. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go to dad mode real quick. Because... No, no worries. I, I think it's definitely um that that racial barrier where like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, let's just get into it caucasians were raised different <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we gonna get into it gonna... I had to figure out how i was gonna say that oh. <laughs> <laughs> caucasians caucasians were raised, raised different <laughs> you know so when um when you mesh two different worlds together and two different mm-hmm. upbringings. So so many different things like just come to the surface and right. you got to figure out how to deal with those things, you know? Mm-hmm. So I think we're seeing firsthand um, the way Preston handles Danny. You yes. know, so he's not combative. Yes. The let, you know, if there was some, <laughs> if that was a, a African-American. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you to to figure out how to be politically correct. <laughs> Afro, what are we saying these days? This is, is black. <laughs> oh, I'm saying the wrong thing. <laughs> Listen, because he might react different. <laughs> right. He's so stupid. Yo, <laughs> in your face trying to be politically correct just now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh my goodness. <laughs> But he's so gentle and patient with her, you uh-huh. know. So we're seeing that side, and I, I'm so happy that Tyler decided to do an interracial couple on the show mm-hmm. because it does it shows a different dynamic and yeah. the two worlds trying to figure each other out. And, and <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Trinity. Yes, Trinity Whiteside. Yeah, Trinity Whiteside and Mignon. These Mignon, th- yes. Killer. And Mignon had a lot in uh, the first season. That yeah. was. My- Life. We did a lot together. Mm-hmm. Trini's my boy. He's the only other married guy on the set, so he and I can relate to a lot of things because he's married like I am. Mm-hmm. But I look at their, I look at their dynamic on camera, and I'm like, it seems like no matter what Trinity said, well, no matter what Rodeo says or does, he's always wrong. Like, he cannot get it right. Mm-hmm. For him, not mm-hmm. understanding women number one, because he clearly don't understand women, but then not understanding black women. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know if he ever gonna get it right because he keeps putting his foot in it. Listen, I'm like, come on, man. Like, I like the whole come scene. Came to, to the bed and, and with the hat and it said, and "Gal." Oh Lord, I was already like, "What in your mind?" No, like, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> yeah, I, black women would have put up with that. Right, but he don't know, you know? So it's like, if that was a Caucasian woman, that would have been like, oh, that's so cute. I can't with you every time you pause. <laughs> pause. You are, man, listen, cancel culture got people nervous to say right. right. I mean, politically correct. <laughs> yeah, so hey, Levi, best friend. Hey, best friend. My Who's best that? friend from college is in here, Levi. Oh, what's up, Levi? <laughs> Um, but no, like that, you know what I'm saying? That had been someone from his race. She probably thought it was cute, but a black girl, that's a whole nother generations of yeah. like, yeah, that just came to surface. Like, whoa, what did you just call yeah. me? 
Yeah. You know, and he's like, wait, what? And that's difficult. That's that. That's difficult. And mm-hmm. not for nothing, he don't get a pass. Like I talk, I talk with Mignon about this, and yeah, like he don't get a pass. He wants to date a black woman. He has to do his work to educate himself. It's not my job mm-hmm. to educate him on how to date a black woman, which is really true. But can't the same thing be said about her? Like it's not his job to educate her about being with a white man. Yeah, it goes both ways. Yeah. Right. So how where do, where does the you know where do they finally meet up? Like where do they mm-hmm. finally meet mm-hmm. out? Because I like them together. I do too. But it seemed like every other episode he getting kicked out. <laughs> like um, Jazzy Jazzy Jeff. Um, oh yeah, he from she, Fresh she, Prince. Like Uncle Phil. <laughs> oh. Literally. <laughs> Too funny. What else they asking us? Somebody said, oh my God, your smile is so beautiful. I'm pretty sure that was for you, but I'm going to say thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. <laughs> yes, yes. You're so stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Um, what else? We, let's see. What else can we talk about? Well, um, we can talk about the ending. I don't know if we want to kill <gasps> But some people haven't seen it yet. Here, is a, listen, I'm about to tell y'all right now. Don't even listen, get mad. No. This is about to be a spoiler alert. So if you have not seen the episode yet, stop watching this live. Well, they know right now. Stop watching the live if you have not watched the last episode. Spoiler right. alert. I'm giving y'all three seconds. Three, two, one. <laughs> How she gonna shoot Gary, son? Ow! Jasmine crazy. <laughs> When um when um Andy was like, "Baby, is that you?" She said, "No." <laughs> I said, "Yo," I said, "She had that background voice." She did it was like, "No, <laughs> no, bitch, it's me, bitch." I'm like, "Let it go, bro. Let it go, bro. He do not want you, son. He do not want you, son." Listen, Cheeto in here, Cheeto. Cheeto. You didn't deserve that man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cheeto, you did not deserve it. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait, what? <laughs> I'm trying to explain myself. Explain I didn't know that you knew her. I didn't know that. That was such an awkward moment. Oh it my ain't, gosh. You ain't had to go down with that. But yeah, so. I wonder what's gonna happen. They gonna kill. They gonna kill Gary like that, bro. Man, why they gonna kill Gary? Gary, so, Gary was finally getting his stuff together. He was. Yeah. He was charming. You know what I'm saying? He was. He wasn't scary, Gary. He no was more. Not scary, Gary. No more. No, he was. We was liking him. I was. I was watching the TV. I was like, let's represent. <laughs> not black man on TV. Right. For two episodes. They gave him two episodes of not being toxic. Then they shot him in the abdomen. Listen. See? If he'd have kept being toxic, he'd have been fine. But now he's trying to be a good guy, get shot. Listen. Damn it. Oh, man. Bro, I don't let that, think. Let that be a lesson. Chill let said, bro, I don't think he's going to make it. <laughs> Come on, Chill. We need you to pull it through. Don't say that. Hang no. in there. You Come on, keep it. breathing for me, please. Please. <laughs> Yo, my kids was mad. My kids was mad. I'm, they they oh, watch next to me because they like to watch their dad. Car- Gary got shot and Jackson screams out, Cheeto, no! <laughs> I was like, I was like, Jackson, come here, come here. It's just a they show. They love Cheeto. I hugged him up. I was like, it's just a show, Jackson. Chill out. Just, just, just see me. He got a FaceTime Cheeto after blood of another. He's still alive. He probably did. He probably went and called us down. Like, Cheeto, you all right, man? I saw you. Aww. That's how kids be. They take everything to heart. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Cheeto is so funny. What did he say? He said, "Yeah, I'm lying on the floor." <laughs> he said, "You like you still bleeding, Gary? You over there? You still bleeding?" Oh, they they're asking about Sabrina and the bank teller. They. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Listen, listen. I'm I'm listen, listen. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about that, right? Hmm. Sabrina been questioning Calvin's sexuality for mad long. They won. She, she gotta let that go, bro. Mm-hmm. Either you like him or you don't. Yeah, that. Like, like, period. Like, it's either you like him or you don't. If you don't like him, let him go live his life and be gone. 
But you you doing the back and forth and then questioning his sexuality, that's not cool to him. But what, you know? how do you feel about they're asking? I guess, do you feel like she should be talking to Jacoby? <coughs> I mean, well, her and, her and Calvin ain't in a committed, exclusive relationship. Like, they've been on and off. She could talk to whoever she wants to. I don't got no problem with that. Yeah. Like, the whole Jacoby thing, I don't got no I mean, it is kind of wrong because they're working together and she's his boss. So, I'm sorry. He's his boss. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Why, you know, that can go, that can go south real quick. Yeah. You're right. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at your wife. She funny. What'd she say? <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd she say? Don't make me go upstairs and find her. I'll go upstairs and find her. Go to Come here. Can, come downstairs, Kadeem. Now you're going to make me go upstairs and find her. She's going to be mad. Look, look. See, you talking trash in here? Now, now look. No, it wasn't bad. It was just funny about Gary. Where are you, woman? <laughs> What'd she say? Don't go. Don't go. No, 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 no. Uh, they said, why does Jacoby scare you? On camera. Oh, she's going to say, don't put it on camera. You're like, the back. The back. <laughs> look, look, look. Look, now she's trying to hide. Look, now she's trying to hide. <laughs> no, you three talk. seasons, Kay. <laughs> Got gunshots for three seasons. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said that, listen, if Gary survives this, right? He's gonna have that gunshot wound for the next three seasons. <laughs> You're going to hell. You're going to hell. Oh, I'm done. You're going to hell. You're going to hell. hell. Oh, man. I love y'all. Wrong, though. Somebody said, don't be too aggressive. He do seem like, yeah, he was like, what are you doing? She's like, have, having some wine or whatever. He's like, I'm on my way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Well, Sabrina let. Sabrina let him come over. Let him come over and I almost let him in. He, he opened up the refrigerator looking for some snacks. <laughs> Here comes Anthony. I mean, uh, um, Calvin. <laughs> so let me ask a question. Do women like that type of man? Like that type of over-aggressive? Mm -mm. I like intentional men, but I do not want aggressive. No. Yeah, that's too much? Yeah, it's too much. Like, yeah. Mm-mm. But I like intentional. I love intentional. Intentional, but not overly aggressive. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Where do you draw the line? Where, where's the line at between intentional, but not overly aggressive? You know what? I think, um, well, let me be honest, it depends on how much I like you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sometimes that aggression can be sexy. If uh, I like you. But if I don't like you, that is annoying. Oh my mm. gosh. It's like, but yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to like being aggressive. Like aggressive is just like, okay, you're doing too much. It has to be natural too. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be natural, organic. So this is, this is what's funny, right? When um my <laughs> father, he always told me to like follow a woman's lead, right? He was always, him and my uncle, like, both my uncle and my pops were ladies men. Like their whole life they were ladies men. My mother used to tell me stories, my grandmother. And both my father and my uncle, like, you always have to respect women, follow their lead. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So throughout my life, high school and stuff, I always try to follow their lead. But you know how many times trying to follow their lead, I had girls told me, you wasn't trying hard enough. Right. Yeah. Like, like, you really like me. Yeah. That, I used to hear that all the time. Like, you didn't act like you liked me. You wasn't. Yeah. Like, You're like, no, I really liked you. I was following your lead. Well, and we're taught as women to not be, like, too thirsty and, like, let the man be the, you know what I'm saying, do, do the chasing and let him pursue you. So it's it's like this whole cat and mouse game. I think we've all been taught wrong, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> it just messed it all up. Yeah. The, the, the truth is when two people like each other, mm -hmm. there's nothing that's off limits. Right. Like, no. Nope. The problem is when one person don't like the other person, no matter what <laughs> they do, that's too much. Listen, I had a dude that was crazy about me. Mm -hmm. And it got to the point where it annoyed me so much, I hated the way he cleared his throat. <laughs> like, everything annoyed me. I'd be like, <laughs> But that's when you know, it's just like, that, that ain't it, sis. <laughs> he ain't the one. He ain't the one. And then for like a year straight, all I, after we stopped talking, all I did was this. <clears throat> Oh gosh! I feel like I was like cursed. <laughs> you see, 
See, you got cursed. You got cursed. See? He was probably a really good guy, too. A really, really good guy. And then you got He was a great person. See? <laughs> he was. Nice. Before we finish last, yo. <laughs> Messed up. Listen, we want a little, little. My mom used to, like, she's always told me, she said, You always like them a little rough on the edges. Yeah. I do. I like them sweet and. I need to know he can handle me though. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I, you know, I need somebody that's not gonna let me run over him. Um, that's gonna they can hold their own. I think I think all women would like a man that can protect them. You know, let me like oh, absolutely always that's would be step in front of the situation and be like, no, nah, I got this, babe. You know what I'm saying? As much. As much as women have been fighting for equality and stuff, rightfully so, because the patriarchy has been killing women for the since the dawn of time, mm -hmm. I think women want someone who's going to step in front and be like, "I'll handle this. You don't got to worry about it." You know, like yeah, I think that's important. My mother that's told me that from the time I was young. When I was, I never, I was seven years old. We were walking down the street, and I was just walking. It's a normal day, just walking through. And then all I feel is that, and I'm like, "Yo." I'm like, what you slapped me for? She's like, you're supposed to be on the outside. You got to be on the ass on the you street know? side. That's right. <laughs> I bet you again. And I was like, why, why I got to be on the outside? She's like, because if a car come jump the curb, you're supposed to protect me. That's right. Let I me was hit like, you first. That's, that's years old. You're my mom. You're my mom. Why would I be protecting you? Protect me, mom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She was like, no, I got to teach you now because you're going to have that's a wife right. one day. You're that's right. Me. I ain't gonna lie, when I'm like, if I'm with a guy and we're like walking on the street and he comes on the street side, it definitely, it it's like a little gold star for Marcus. Ah, in my book. I, yes, like, I that's something that's very important to me that he, you know what I'm saying, has that, he was raised that way or even has the thought process, but like, oh, let me get on the side, on this side to protect yeah. her, to make yeah. sure she's good. Yeah, yeah. it's, um, see, we, we, but we're millennials. <laughs> we're what? Yeah. We're millennials, so we we grew up in that environment. These young people aren't growing up the same way, because um I held the door for a woman one time, and uh, she screamed at me and said, "I'm not here for your microaggressions today." And I was like, "What? Wow! Your microaggressions? I don't need nobody to hold the door for me. I get the door by myself." That's I'm crazy. Like, I'm holding the door for everybody Greater. behind you. I'm holding the door for everybody. Like you yeah. Know? And she's like, I don't need your microaggressions. And I was kind of like, all right, miss. Like, I ain't trying to fight with you. Wow. You know? I realize you probably going through something today, yeah. all right? But then how do you tell these young men how to deal with that type of interaction if you're going to get that from yeah. me? Because, you know, you know, like, that's someone taught her that way, and that's how she felt. And I get it. Like, yeah. women fighting forever, like, forever for everything, so... You know, if I have a daughter, though, my daughter, I'm telling my daughter. Oh, man. If, if the Val Ellis has a daughter. What, what happened? If the Val Ellis has a daughter. You, you already know it. Writing up. She, I'm not going to spoil her. I'm not going to spoil my daughter. No, I wouldn't do that. The lies you tell. That's going to be your only daughter out in boys. The lies. Okay, he lying. You know he lying. <laughs> She is gonna be spoiled. I ain't gonna lie. She's gonna be spoiled. She's about to be spoiled. She is. She is gonna be spoiled. But she's gonna be good. She's gonna be tough. She's gonna know how to deal with these men. She will be. She will be. I mean, she got she got her mom. She got older aunts and, and people like you that she can she can call and, and ask true. for advice. I'm gonna give it to her like it is. You're yeah. gonna give it to her like it is, like Fatima. That's right. Yep. Hey Anthony. No, I saw Anthony and I saw KJ. KJ said, Yeah, you lying. Talking about she ain't gonna be spoiled. I'm <laughs> lying. People said the lies you tell, bro. I'm not lying. <laughs> hey, we got everybody here. Elijah's in here. KJ, I'm Anthony, Cheeto. First of all, I feel attacked right now. I feel attacked right now. De Deval. Now, you know, when you have a little girl, and you have all them boys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> me? Barry! What's me? up, Barry from Bruh? We got Barry in here. Oh, what's 
up, Barry? Oh, bro. Oh, man. Everybody you know, up KJ call the ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> KJ call 911, please. Hopefully she did. Hopefully she did, man, because Gary got to come back after you know, that. Listen, Gary is KJ's. Is um Gary is Andy's heart. I gotta use the names. Gary is um Andy's heart. She ain't about to let nothing happen to him. I see that. I, yo, yo listen, nine one one now. For the first time, the two like watching the two of them together, I was like, yo, they mad good together. Like they are. They were smiling each. They were smiling each other's eyes and stuff. It was like I love it. I'm here for all that. I want them, I need them to, I need Gary to just continue to stay on the yeah, right yeah. and do my girl Andy right. It was good to see. She was calling him babe. She's like, baby, I thought you had the key, babe. What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> she was like, what happened to the key, babe? <laughs> like, I don't know. Somebody stole all of my keys. All of my keys. Oh, like, look at these two in love, like honeymooners. These honeymoon. two honeymooners. We, we need to keep that energy. We like that. No, I do like that. I, I thought it was good. Even even Kay was sitting here. I was like, yo, that's the first time I've seen them just be in love and just yeah. love each other. That's good, though. That's yes. What we need to see it. All that, and then he got shot. Ain't that how it go? That's the yeah. way love goes. When you Man, do it, but... you should have finished her off. You should have went down there and elbow dropped off. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you should have did. You should have came down. You should have went downstairs and been like, this is how it would have played out if it was me. She'd have fell. I'd have been like, Jasmine. Oh my oh, God. Jasmine, you all right? She'd have been like, I don't think I'm going to make it. And I'd have been like, You sure? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> you lying. <laughs> I'm done. Gone. Damn, she's gone. I tried to save her. I tried Listen, to save her. Jasmine is. Not going nowhere. <laughs> Baby, is that you? No, it's me. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's mad. Listen, um, somebody asked, what did my dad think about the blue light special scene? <sighs> Let's get into it. Oh, man. This is like, yeah. Let me tell you something, my father is so supportive and my mother, they're both very supportive of my career. And um, I remember when this scene was about to air, my, the week before my uncle saw the preview, he's like, yep, won't be watching next week. <laughs> my aunt's like, oh, they just acting. And he's like, no, I'm good. And then um, my dad was like, oh, they just acting. And then that blue light hit and he was like, whoa, whoa, is it over yet? Is it over? <laughs> my mom was like, not yet. <laughs> Felt like that scene went on forever. It did though, didn't it go on for a long time? It was so funny. So like the next sex scene we had, I didn't know how they were gonna edit it. Right. So I was like, hey dad, I was like, um, I got another one this week. And he was like, <laughs> you said well, another one. I got another one. He was like, well, it ha is it as bad as the shower scene? I said, no, I said, but I don't remember I don't know. Just be ready. <laughs> Cause uh, I didn't know what you were know, saying, what they caught. And um, when the way they shot it, it was nothing. And he was like, oh yeah, that was nothing. That was good. Yeah, it was nothing. It was nothing. <laughs> but yeah, that's what my, my dad had to say about that. Super supportive. Thanks dad. Thanks mom. Listen, um, we sold a lot of blue lights on Amazon that week. Um, Where is the PC? We need our PC. We definitely we should have got some for that because them blue lights are going off the shelves. Though. Off the shelves. Um, Kay bought a blue light. She did. She was ready for you. Light <laughs> um, upstairs in the room right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, but I mean, that's how you come home from shooting. Yes, yes. That's how you come home. I love it. Was, it was definitely trending on Twitter. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Look, let me go. I got to put these kids to bed. Yes. Thank you guys so much. Yes. Love you guys. Thank y'all so much for watching each and every week. As you guys just saw, we're coming back this summer. You don't yeah. have to until October. So yeah. we'll be back sooner than later. Don't miss us too much, but do. Exactly. <laughs> Keep us the number one show on cable. Yes. Million viewers. Watch it um, on B. It's a, on um, 
who what what um it's on BET Plus I think BET I Plus yeah you can catch us on BET Plus um just yeah. something to hold you over in the interim yes yeah but rocking with us uh, yeah. we'll see y'all June 9th yes Hopefully. thank you BET thank you Tyler the yes. whole Tyler Perry Studios <laughs> family we love you guys yes we you guys sure. the fans thank y'all so much for rocking with us yes Fans, y'all the most important people, yo. We appreciate y'all. Seriously. We really appreciate it. Every week, I can't wait to talk to y'all. Yep. See y'all soon. Peace. Peace.